You probably are familiar with Einstein's special theory of relativity, which states that time is relative and that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. And that is something I explain in more depth in my course Time Immersion in the first module on the true nature of time. Now this theory, the special theory of relativity, is the last of four revolutionary papers published in 1905 by Albert Einstein. Hence why 1905 is often referred to as Annis Mirabilis, the miracle year. Now the very first paper published that year is the one that granted Einstein with a Nobel Prize, as it laid out the foundation for relativity as well as for quantum mechanics. And this is what I wanted to talk about today, nowhere else than Einstein's office itself. In March 1905, Albert Einstein published a paper in the Annals of Physics titled On a Heuristic Point of View Concerning the Creation and Conversion of Light. At the time, it was believed that light acted as a wave following Maxwell's equations, which states that light is an electromagnetic wave. However, centuries before that, Newton believed light to be made up of particles. Now, to make things a little bit more confusing, Einstein showed that light could act as both a wave and a particle, and this changed everything in the realm of physics. This was later proven right by Robert Millikan, who was initially trying to prove Einstein wrong and conducted an experiment which also granted him with a Nobel Prize later on. I guess it didn't work out the way he wanted, although it was probably for the better. Now Einstein discovered this by analyzing the work of two great scientists, Max Planck, who also set out the foundation for quantum mechanics, and Philip Leonard. Max Planck was trying to find a mathematical formula for a phenomenon known as black body radiation. If we take a piece of metal and heat it up, we will observe that it first becomes red, then orange. Why is that? Any object emits and absorbs radiation. A cool object will emit more infrared radiation and will therefore have a longer wavelength. However, the hotter an object, the more it will emit ultraviolet radiation and have a shorter wavelength and will therefore produce visible light, which is what we can observe on the piece of metal. This means that the frequency of light, in other words, the size of its wavelength, directly depends on the temperature of an object. In 1900, Max Planck found a mathematical formula for this. However, it required the use of a tiny little constant in order to work, which is now known as the Planck constant. Now, he believed that his equation did not describe the nature of light itself, but rather what happens when light is emitted or absorbed by an object, by matter. Now, remember this because he might be proven wrong a little bit later. Leonard was playing around with black body radiation and discovered something known as the photoelectric effects. There are a few ways electrons present inside a piece of metal, for example, could escape the metal. The first one is through heat. If you heat the piece of metal at very high temperature and you make the electrons vibrate faster, some of them will eventually pop out. Another way of doing so is by taking a magnet. The attractive force emanating from the magnet will suck some of the electrons out. Now, another way of doing this is by shining light on the piece of metal. This causes the electrons to escape the metal through electromagnetic radiation produced by the light. This is called the photoelectric effect. What Leonard discovered is that the electrons only escaped when a certain light with a certain frequency or wavelength was shined upon it. It didn't work with all the wavelengths. This could not be explained by Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, which meant that sometimes light acted as a wave, 
and sometimes it acted as a particle. That's how Einstein explained the photoelectric effects. Now Einstein discovered the quantum of electromagnetism, the quantum of light, the photon. Photons of sufficient energy will transmit their energy to the electrons allowing them to escape the piece of metal. The energy of a photon depends directly on the frequency of the light, the size of its wavelength, and can be calculated by multiplying the frequency of the light times Planck's constant. Now there's a very funny story that not many people know concerning Einstein's work on quantum mechanics. And it's actually the greatest irony of Einstein's life. I found it very funny to uh, read, so I decided to share it with you on my Patreon account. If you are interested, just go check it out over there. You can also see how I made this cute little office using Unreal Engine. Again, all available on my Patreon account. The link is in the description below. If you liked it, please give it a like. You can also comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. You can also subscribe to this channel. It would make me super, super, super happy. And I will see you very soon with a new video. In the meantime, take care.